Hey, what's going on guys? Max Stallion YT here and again, we're back on spin tires. So in this episode, we're back on the Aussie Outback, I think it is. Um, yep, Aussie Outback. And we're basically going to do the same route as we did yesterday and we're going to see how far we can get before everything goes wrong. So here we go. So how's everybody today? I hope everybody's doing good. So I was playing this game earlier on with um, a good friend of mine and uh, we um, downloaded like a, a charger, a Dodge Charger kind of mod and we were flying around, um, I think it's one of just one of the, ba the, the basic uh, maps that you get with the game and uh, honestly as soon as you put that thing into high range it it just went, you know, it didn't hang around, it just absolutely hell for leather, off it went. You were just basically trying to steer the thing as well as you could, as well as you can. You know, it's, oh, it was absolutely crazy, doing jumps and everything, and he actually got himself wedged in between two trees, and we had to try pull him out, and that didn't go quite to plan, and I've just got two damage. So yeah, it was quite interesting, really. It was it was quite a funny a funny little episode, and uh, we actually tried getting the like multiplayer to work on this map itself because I thought this would be a cool map to go exploring with someone else because it's so big. And every time we tried it, he 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 just couldn't, you know, he just couldn't get onto the actual lobby. It just hang on the connecting. The connecting sign, you know, where it comes up with a little thing saying that you're connecting to a multiplayer lobby. It just hang, just just hung there for ages and it never loaded. But as soon as we, like, reset, you know, the lobby and change the map to a basic map, it was fine. Everything worked. So I don't know if it's something to do with the mods or something like that, but... Crikey, it didn't go around that corner very well. If it's something to do with mods or anything, I really have no idea, but it's it, a bit of a shame, really, because I really like this map. I think it's really good. So, I mean, uh, other than that, nothing else is new, really. Um, I'm going to be recording some time-lapse footage tomorrow evening for Farming Simulator. Um a bit of a twist because I've got I've got Adam coming in tomorrow wow this is a bit bumpy right folks so we've got to this bit now so that's the end of the road so now we're on the actual off the beaten track kind of thing so as you see I think that's the road going all the way around there so we'll just take it steady-ish going around here so I don't want to uh, roll the car over like we did in the last episode so like I said, it's it's just a case of I'm just trying different cars at the moment to see which ones I I enjoy driving. Wow, that was close. This is a tight turn. It's a really tight turn. You give it too much and you end up going over the other side. We don't want to do that. Oh, and then you give it that and then you hit. Oh, come on now. What's going on? Let's just get a move on. So yes, um, the time lapse series on Farming Simulator has been quite successful. A lot of you guys have watched it, which I can't say enough. But thanks, you know, it, it means the world to me that you guys are watching my content. Otherwise, there's really no reason why I should do it. Okay, so I think we did get past here yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, because this is getting quite quite bumpy now do you know what? I'm actually gonna change it into that so that we don't get the loss of power the break in the power um, see that's one of the problems that's one of the things I don't like about the automatic it's fine on a flat road but as soon as you start going on the off-road stuff like this it kind of starts getting a bit exciting it doesn't like it it'll stop to change the gears and I don't think that's really what we want at the moment. Oh, that's just a little bit scary. Uh, 
right, so we've got up there. So now what goes up must come down, I guess. I don't think we're going to get up here, you know. I'll be very surprised if we manage to get up here. Because we, we, we couldn't do it yesterday. And yesterday we tried doing it in the proper Jeep. Come on, dig in. Dig in. You're not wanting to, are you? Okay, so we'll just break there now. I'm going to go against the rules that I originally wanted. And that was not to use winches or anything. But I suppose if, if we need to do it, then we need to use it. Just a good thing the trees don't fall out, fall down. Right, so we made it up there. So we'll unclick that and then get back onto here and off we go. Oi. Don't want to do that. Oh, this camera really irritates me. But we'll put up with it. Even though I don't like it, I really don't like the camera. So we'll take a trip around here. Okay, so the lights work. See, the thing is, if I go into automatic, I think we'll be going too quick and we'll, we'll end up either binning it into the trees or rolling it or even worse wrecking the car completely so that we'd have to you know restart it and kind of figure out something else so this is like some sort of land cruiser or something Oh no, come on, do 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 bin it. Really do, it's weird how these like the cambers of these things are like all over the place. They're not they're not like what what we would call proper cambers, you know, so that it like follows the way. That was quite a nice little uh section. But I don't think we would be getting up there in this. That's for sure. Yeah, look at that. We wrecked it then. That was a big bump. But, you know, I honestly don't see how, you know, a vehicle with such big tyres and things can damage so easily when... It's an off-road vehicle. You are going to drive over big bumps and ditches and everything else that goes with it. You know, so I just don't, I don't get it. I suppose, yeah, it is a case of, you know, making making it as hard for us as they possibly can without it being too difficult to the point where we all just decided to screw it, rage quit. Nope, no thanks. Not for me. So we're nearly we're nearly at that building that we got to yesterday where um, I thought it was something of interest but it turned out to just be a model of a building. The front of a building anyway. Um, what that building is I have no idea. Now as far as I remember we binned it just round this corner somewhere because we didn't get right far before we toppled over so there is some nice like off-road tracks here but seriously you need to be in a in a serious bit bit of kit if you want to start rambling over stuff like that and going up them so we might actually do that in another episode That'd be quite cool. Download like a, a rock scrambler or something. And we'll just basically climb up there as if it's a flat floor or a flat road or anything, something like that. So we'll just come round here. I'm just waiting for the point, 
yesterday where we where we tipped it onto its side. I think it's quite close to somewhere around here. But we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, we're getting a bit a bit happy on the accelerator now. Oh So we just keep going along here like this. It's quite a nice little route. Really. This is like the beginner's track. Yeah, <laughs> we're big. I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. <laughs> That's funny. Right, so here's the lumber yard. So now, if I'm not mistaken, we've got to go up here. So we just give it a bit of power to try and get itself up on its own steam. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you not gonna make it? Are you just not gonna have it? Are you not are you not bothered now? Are you not no? You're not gonna do it. Okay, never mind. So we'll just stop there for a minute. Hopefully we've still got somewhere to uh, link on, which we do. And we will winch ourselves up. Cool. So we're up now. So we're all the way down here. I think what I want to do is just follow this one right down the edge. So yeah, this is kind of like the territory yesterday where we nearly binned it. And I really don't want to bin it today, guys. I want to see how far I can get in like half an hour, 25 minutes. Oi, that was a bit too close for comfort. Come on, get your grip. Wow, it's just a little bit bumpy. Just a little bit bumpy. Right, so I remember it's just around here where we come off it last yesterday. Really? Come on, come on, come on. That's it. I'll go that way. Straight over. There you go. <gasps> oh, you are kidding. Oh, 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 oh. We've, oh, we've saved it. We've managed to hold it. We've kept it. We've kept it, guys. We've kept it. Yes! Don't know about you, but I'm happy about that. So are we going up there or down there? Let's have a look. I think we'll go down. So we'll go this way. Come on! And we're off. Yes. This would be pretty cool if it was quite as hectic as this in real life. I don't know, maybe it is. Yeah. Um. We've got no chance, have we? Um, I mean... We can try, but I can't see us making it. Don't even think we'll be able to winch from there. Oh, 
We can as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, is that it? Well, guys, I think that's it. I can't get any further than that. So, damn. I suppose we'll just have to try and conquer it another day in a different car. But until then, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you did like this episode, please head down below and do the usual. Pinch that like button. And if you're all not already a subscriber, then please, guys, hit that subscribe button. As I will be kicking out a few more of these episodes during the week and across next week. Um, I don't put anything out on a Saturday and a Sunday because I have that as my time off. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is Max Stallion Whitey, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>